as we travel across the Pacific Ocean from the city of Tokyo to, to Detroit then, in America then. Place itself at the Versailles Circuit then for the second round of the Formula E World Championship then. Hello everybody, this is James Wise here, your commentator on the James Gary Channel on YouTube. And welcome everybody to Versailles then for round two of the Robert Formula E World Championship. It's the Versailles E Play the way for qualifying for the second for the second round of the World Championship. The second qualifying season of the season is about to get underway then, so we're looking forward to that for season two then. And after a couple opening races of season two in race one then, so we're here for the second round of the second season of the World Book Formula E World Championship then. It is back to USA and it, it's Versailles E Play then. Looking forward to the second race of the season then. And after we had a good successful race it was in Tokyo, the previous pole position of the season was Jake Denner who won out in pole in the Tokyo pre then and it took him so and he earned three charging points to add to his tie then from the way that so he managed to achieve this as a place he might have achieved then in that Grand Prix in Tokyo. But this time though he wanted to fight for big points then, big module he would get them for death. So after the first race in Tokyo was completely a good set up, it was a good opening head of the year, obviously at the beginning of the season until the World Book Formula E World Championship. Let's have a quick reminder of the look at the overall driver's championship standings there after the first race there. Here it is then guys, and leading the way is 36 camera lead with 25 points after taking the first race of the season in Tokyo. After he wins out in Japan then, he's leading the way with his Penske, then it's overall in the Nissan second, then it's about to play in the division race in third. Mitch Evans in the Jaguar CC races in 4, the Kiwi driver from New Zealand in 4. Right side Sims runs up the top 5. There is Jake Ted in 6th place, head of Dent City, because he's got that pole position in Tokyo. I mean, he's got head of Dent Tick to Dent, because he's finished racing P7, but he's got 3 chances of points for only pole position, so he's ahead of Tick to for 6. There's some for 8, plus the fail on 9, and right on the top 10, then it's one more Tara in the Tagging Pause there, who's going to hopefully, actually he's not with Tagging Pause, he's actually with Master Water there, sorry, excuse me there, I'm thinking about old classic team, but it's actually him in the Master Water when he's in the top 10, he's not both Master Water, Pasta Bell and Martara, he's actually, he's in the Master Water down. As, have a look at the team standings there guys, DS Pesky leads the way with 25 points then, then it's Nissan on 18, third place on Jaguar TCS Racing on in third place, with Vincent Racing by just one point behind Jaguar TCS Racing in four. Major race on in 5th, then it's Avalanche Dread T in 6th by just 1 point from um, Raheem Jerk, so there's just 1 point behind them. Then it is Neo Fury 3, the team from China in 7th, Neo Fury 3 racing in 7th. Then it is Slacky Pause with 2 points in 8th, Master Wazi SMG racing on in 9th place. While this point of start to see for Neil McLaren means they they but but we brand sit partnership after taking over from the ACQ. I'm afraid they had a disappointing first race they had in Tokyo. And with their drive and finish down 18 lines in the first race, then they got a lot, a lot of work to do to make up in the second race of the World Championship here at Bell But could they do anything similar to try to get the first points of the season so far after disappointing in Tokyo? Can they do it then in Bell in the province group say that is coming up right now? And there will be a new driver we'll be replacing at Maserati to this race then, guy. It will be season time for the League Champion. We served um for member state DC EQ driver Nick DeFreeze. He was also a Formula 1 driver and from a 2 champion of 2019. So he was then. So the drops winner will be deputized for Max Kuhn because the Max Kuhn to uh, realize he is kind of way because he has sort of a huge crash there in the Tokyo pre race one. And with that crash there, he was he was Find himself to have minor bruises to his arm and leg, and I'm afraid, I'm afraid that forced him to sit out racing for about three weeks. Then, so he will be back. He will be hobby back racing strongly soon enough. As well as Jake, he is still recovering though from that in that injury he had there in practice that he managed to sustain then. And with that, then Taylor Bond will be stepped in for him for race two again. So Bonnard after got a drive prepared to receive in the first race then can he? Hoping before he did this time, I hope he won't get penalised this time. Then, if I should do something so nasty and so, and so it was crazy to might push him to the fit in Victoria's those spot, then well, hopefully, nothing will not get in my way though. Because Barnard, he needs to try to help you do something and face Tim McLaren if they want to achieve their first points to see after disappointed in the first race in Tokyo in Japan. But could it do? Could the fight it up here? I'm looking to watch an eye, keeping an eye on Nick DeFries, then the new, the Dutchman, deputising Maximilian Gunther for this race weekend because Gunther 
spot the crash that he had then in qualifying. He's going to hopefully got a lot of chance to make up though. Looking forward to this. And E Prix coming up the late one then. Um, coming up soon enough in the next video after qualifying is done. So, the group qualifier says session for the second round of the World Championship of Season 2 of Robux from the A is about to get underway then. And let's start off with Group 1. So, the driver first after the party will be taking part in Group 1. It will be the slowest comic compared to Sam Bird for Dragon TCS Racing. Then, and it will be the fifth place man in the championship, Axel Sin for Mahindra Racing, will be going out as well in Group 1. As well as the Neil McCarthy Stop on Tour, this is it for me, champion, the Belgian driver. And of course, all the world in the next hand, then. Second place man in the championship, then. Had a good race to the face of the play in this and home Grand Prix in Tokyo in Japan. But could they help it do pretty well both ways? All the world, second place man in the championship is going to go out in Group 1, that we could have a chance to get foot into the jewels, then. Well, only time will tell, that be, as they will be the first four judges to go out in Group 1, then. And with that, then, let's begin Group Qualifying, then. With Group 1, it's about to begin. They're all out on circuit right now then guys on track then so the first full drive is going to be set the lap time so remember only the top 8 then the top 8 driver will be fancy through to the jewels then so let's see who's going to do it then Sampa had a disappointing start in Tokyo during race 1 Quadra only last played but had a good comeback drive in in the first race then in the race day facing the incredible P8 after starting last play gained 12 positions from that Grand Prix day managed to Game there after starting already down in 20 to play on last spot though. And despite the red flag that he has changed many, many more though over the past coming races though over the last two weeks ago then. But let's see how well he will do then. As hopefully he will do pretty well here at Bell Side then. He's coming through then to the left and right. He's coming through turn 11 and turn 12 then. Actually, that's 13 actually then. This first got four corners in total. This third will be the same pace here then. No attack bug to that's disabled then. 4.49 said so that is a bit better, like he said, it did better in Tokyo, Dan. Let's see what Ike Salatsen could do to the in the Mendra. Slower than Burr with a 4.538. That's a good lap time from him. Stop on Doors is a 4.504. Could it be Sims? He had to save a third play. And Robert Worland goes quicker than Van Dorn and Sims. So it's Sam Burr quickest had the other Worland in the next side. Then it is Alex Salatsen Sims in third. And then it's Don Van Dorn. But other words, only just 1,000 of a second quicker than Alex Sims. That is quite close indeed, but Burr has had the benchmark. That is that's got to be some solitary solitary improvement there for the British driver for for Jacob Matisse. Really good work for some Bird there. That's much better. Like he got a good combat drive in Tokyo after forty three racing laps then, and yeah, that was a good a good despite the fact he has done good skillful good training and exercise. He has trained after practice then in Tokyo and in Bell sorry in this EP as well. So. Scully at the moment, Samper quickest head of Overway in second, there's Alexander Simpson in third, and some of the is in P4. Where then will be successful for safe enough to go fans through into the duels? So we're only time with them. That's one group down, only four more to go. Let's now do straight on to group two now of this group qualifying stage. Okay then, in group two then of group qualifying, it will be the physical race of Sebastian Bray. The Swiss story will be going out in season two then, and third place man in the driver championship. The winner and champion leader of race one then, it's Sergio City Cal. The winner of the Tuggy Epre is going to be going out, the champion leader is going to be going out in group two. Which Advent is going to be going out as well, fourth place man in the championship, and then one more title in P10 in the standings for Master Wadi and some G. It's going, going to be going out as well in group two. That's all that's the second check race that Mitchell is going out, and the visual race of the is going to be going out. And Chapter Bay says it can work. Going into the second race of the championship then of season two is going to be helping lead the way then coming into this then. Can you help me get through it into Super Bowl? Well, only time will tell. Let's see how good strike base struggle after missing out on the duels then. And he had to set up for P9 then for the start of the G pay. But can such that camera the Champions League get through into the duels? Well, only time will tell. Let's find out in the second group stage of qualifying. So, group two, slightly underway then, and hopefully they'll have they'll have a good warm-up pace then before they were set out for the lap times. I remember only one lap will hopefully do the trick for some of the all the Formula E drivers then. And hopefully they'll set a quick pace or bad pace or have a slow or fast car that we'll get. Let's find out as Bremi begins his lap in the vision racing, then followed by Associated Camera into his pendant and chapter leader then the Brazilian. Mitch Evans, fourth place man in the championship, starts his lap for Jaguar Tisa Racing. And here comes the Master Wati, the Swiss driver of, of, of Water Motara, starts his lap then, here in Bell Sire then. So, let's see how well they would do then. So, 
Let's go watch a Mitch Ammon. He's just hit the wall there going into turn number turn number five there. That's a big mistake there. Would that cost Mitch Ammon some time there? Well, I'm not quite sure that. Let's watch on Bremi then. He's coming around turn 11. This is got to do so slightly interesting there for Bremi. He needs to get a perfect great lap there. He's third place in the man in, in the championship so far then. But can he do any pressure? No, it's not good enough. For the one eight seven down. I don't think that lap will not be proof enough. Can I say bad lap time? The Champions League is a personal bad lap time. The worst lap time he has ever set though. Oh dear, great. Here goes Motara across the line. I'm afraid I've lost all, all the drivers have lost some times there. So Motara plays fifth. Then it's Evans. Then it's Sebastian Bremen. Then it's such as the camera. Oh dear, great. I don't think neither, neither of those might prove the lap time. Might even go make it through into the... Dude, and so to say the camera, the chance of they going into this race, it's going to be hope because slight a bit of risk here and might get struggling there. He's currently the driver with, he's currently in the t eighth place. And if the other driver does not approve, he might get to get through straight into super into the jewels, not super po. Or if not, if someone doesn't approve of their lap time, may, I'm afraid he's going to be out of, of not getting through, fancying through to the jewels then. But will he do it though? So to say the camera though. The Champions League for Diaz Penske and the Brazilian is. Having not good up time pace he has set so far then, but can we hope we see him through into the duels? Well, I'm not quite sure he's going to be safe or not. But let's now straight go straight into group three right now then, guys. Okay, here has things on second up for group three then, guys. So, the driver going out in group three will be Oliver Turing in the near 3 3 3 and then it will be the other main driver, Lucas Degrassi, will be going out as well. Probably will do better slightly than his teammate since this. They, and there will be the other invisible race of Nick Cassidy will be going out as well. And the Avalanche of Australia, Jake Dennis, will be going out as well. Then. So the season probably each other will be going out in, along with Cassidy, Degrassi and Toby. But let's see if anyone is going to be truly well enough to go ahead of Sam Burns. Curly got the quickest pace time at the moment so far. But could anyone go slightly quicker than Bird? Well, only time will tell. Let's find out in Group 3. So group three is is physically on the way right now there as the first driver will be starting that lap will be Oliver Turgit B in the near three three three. I'm not gonna say that incorrectly there, but he well, I said it right, so Oliver Turby, here he comes though, coming round the fire could start his lap his lap then. So let's see how well he would do then. So let's see if any other driver could go quicker as Turby starts his lap then. Here comes Lucas Grass the Brazilian for Mahindra Race, starts his lap then. Probably will be not be his last lap then. He's won an only lap of this race. I hope not. I mean, for good qualifying me there, guys. Or will be just probably two laps will be for him. So hopefully this will not be a one lap dash for Lucas Degrassi that seem to knock him so out at the end of good qualifying, not making it through then to the jewels. Anyway, so I'll sort of try make his way round to turn ten through to eleven. Then there's a Double white king, white hand corner at turn five boy. Lucas Grass getting good, having setting more but difficult good pace than Luke than Oliver Tubby has. As Tubby rounds the fire across the line, says a four point six like That'll be good enough to put him in fifth play for the time being then. What about Lucas Grass in the manger? Lost a bit of time there, but that one will be okay. What about Nick Cassidy? Four point eight five five, I think that one won't be safe enough for him. Jake Dennis, four point six two A goes ahead of Tubby, goes fifth. So currently it's it's some birds from Sims. I mean no, it's some bird from Oliver Warren, then it's Alex on the Sims, then it's some Van Doyen 4, then it's Jake Dennis, Oliver Turvey, Lucas Degrassi, and then it is Dick Cassidy. And a good for the gun bit faster than the other the, than the group two have set them. I'm afraid neither of them I'm afraid them um are gonna be Going through the ones who said in group two, but group three then sees these guys. Oh, we, we, could we hope to see them through into to, to stage of qualifying and win the class to get his first appearance socked at Jew, in the Jews. Can we see him in the Jews then later on in this video, then, guys? We're in time of terror. So, we have three groups done, only two more groups left to go before we go straight into the Jews. Then, and this video is getting pretty, 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 pretty sore. It is again, so indeed. I don't want to make it long as it was in the previous other videos I did it recording on YouTube on doing Formula E qualifying session for group qualifying then the two points over 55 minutes it would take it took me then trying to record then so I don't want to make this quite long as usual then so that's group three done then now let's get straight into group four or qualify as we do then guys as we can for this okay have a look in 10 to 5 to look at group four then and in group four then will be Taggy Porsche Pascal Fell this is a Season 10 Formula World Champions is going to be going out in Group 4. 
along with Robin Fiennes in the Avalanche of Greg T. Then it's the Tony Fisher Cross, the both tagged pauses of Bell and Cross will be going straight out in group four then. And along with Victor Free, who is deputizing from the Intra Maximilian Gunter and Master Wiley as the G Raider, and the third place is deputizing him, and he's replacing him for this season, Dan. I mean, not this season. Um, replacing for this race, then not for the tie race, the tie season of season two, then. And for this, for, for this, for this race only. Good will hope he will come back strongly down in the next race in the Monaco E Play. It appears upon the Monaco that he will be coming down. So I'm looking forward to seeing him there soon. But anyway, then, guys, he's deputizing for this, then. We'll, we'll, look at, we'll look out for him, then we'll, we'll wish him the best of luck then for this Grand Prix weekend. Let's see if he get a good lap, solid lap time in and get himself through into the jewels. So, ready to begin the flying lap then, the one only flying lap in group quad by the is Could Pascal Bear do anything to achieve the target pause or will be, will be fine? Could do put to the Hovey defend his championship title by Hovey Tick purposes if he gets through to the jewels then. As Ray Cherry fights, starts his lap down, so does Pascal Fair. Here goes the old tagging pause to Tony Fisicosta. Can we see both tagging pause it further? And debutizing for Maximilian Gunter is 63. Let's watch him down. As he's the season 7 for the champion, the Dutch guy who is debutizing the injured Maximilian Gunter. Well, let's wish him the best of luck as he drives this My Gas team down. Let's see how well he can do. For the barriers there, let me see what Mitch Evans did then group, in group 2. But he's having a good pace at the moment then. For the time as he faces some. This is a great, extra good pace to through these crawlers there and take it nice, nice and easy there. As Pascal Ferrer comes around the fire crawler there, let's see what his latter will be then. 4.998, not fast enough, will be fine. 4.551, he goes ahead of, I think he goes ahead of, I think he goes ahead of, um, I don't think he's going ahead of Sims there. As the free set, 4.575, 4.548 for total physical cost there. I think this lap time will be enough there, I think, um, the cost goes fourth. The Freeze is in 6th and Fines is in 5th. So good luck down, but I'm afraid Fell on Faith doesn't make it unfortunately down. I'm afraid sits just behind Mitch Evans down. So, so good luck times there for Nick Freeze then. Debbie Tide for Maxime Gunter. Robin Final to the Coast, but I'm afraid Pascal Fell was the only one who had a bad performance lap he has achieved then. I mean, I'm afraid the triple will have to start the very bad days. Couldn't want being the championship in ninth place then after scoring two points in the first way but he's gonna start at the very back of the pack then for tomorrow's video for the grace coming up soon. But anyway, that's the penultimate group group four stage done then it's now time to go straight into the final group stage of this group club and then we'll get straight into the jewels then. But anyway, it's time now it's time for let's get straight into the final group the group five then of the group club final stages then guys. Okay, it's time for the fire group down. Final group then, group five down. We got Sorry Burn in the DS Penske. Taylor Barnard, every time for Jake Kewis again once again for Neil McLaren. He's going to be going out as well in the fire group there. I've been disappointed at the same probably in third place in Tokyo then. We hope we do better to get through to the for the second race in a row then. Well, what about that? Did it on Norman Atta? Let's find a very deep four that we get through into the jewels then. Let's find that as we'll be all going out in the five group stages in Qualifier. I can just say, it's the sort of qualifier that I have ever done so far in my entire life. So this one is going to be a big fun. So that's the best thing I have done in all the other current Formula E videos I've done so far in World Book Formula E. So much in history, Dan. Since the door of time at beginning race night in Santiago. But it's fight come to a bit sort of this time then, guys. But uh, enough talking for that then. Let's get straight into the fire group then in Bell's Island then for the final time then for group club. But then it's time for the final group then to get head straight out and try and see if they do a well. Good try to so take good luck time and the the best luck time to go into the jewels then. Well, let's find out. Only time will tell. Let's see there's group five commence. Let's begin that. So the final group then the last group of this group club five for the Bell's Island Pre. Can any of these folks get through to the jewels then? Can they get fans through to the jewels to get placed in the top eight then? Who currently, hopefully, uh, have a place to get through then? Let's find out then. So, Barnard starts his lap then. So, let's see if this lap will do really well in his second grom with deputies of Jake Hughes again. Through goes then, this starts his lap then. And right behind, further back then, it's Norman out to the near side. Let's see, can the friends we can help we get through, uh, even though he got through in Tokyo? Through to the jewels then. Could he have another ch another chance to get through into the jewels then? Could the Frenchman do it then? Or what about the other Frenchman? DS Penske for Sorry Fair. He also got through into the jewels in Tokyo. But let's see if he gets France through to the jewels in 
Bell Sar. Let's find that as he comes around the barcode where he's going to be for the Robux from E. Bell Sar, he pre 41.6760. That's not going to be enough of fun. I'm afraid he does advance free into the jewel. What about Taylor Barnard for Neil McLaren? I feel like that's it's good. That's okay. It looks like Marlon will be going through there. What about that tick turn? Wow, that's a good fast slap to tick turn. He goes quickest. Wow. A great sort of lap for that tick turn. We'll see him into Jews. And knowing that top, well, he said top of 3.601, but will that top be enough to see him through into the Jews? Well, that is going to be very, so, 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 so close to find out. It's between very close to 601 for Nato. Uh, Turbo says 686, but I think that laptop might be good enough for him, or maybe not. But anyway, there, that's all the groups qualifying stages of these five groups of qualifying for these trade drivers have all done the lap times then. I'm going to put the lap five with the five lap times in the, on, the, on the paper seat, and we'll be right back to announce the farmers down and see which of the X driver will be fancy for into Jules down. And I think Sitter will be going through as well, so as Taylor Barnard. But I'll be right back then, guys. So that was a good quality stage one here in Bellside in, in America, in Detroit, for the Bellside E-Prey. As we'll be right back then, guys, to announce the final results of the group qualifying stages and see which of the air will be fancy through to the jewels. I'll be back in the five, five minutes then, guys, so don't get anywhere wherever you do. So, after had a look at the five qualifications of the laptops there, and I've done all the calculations and I've done the results then, Here's the fire so here's the driver will be passing through into the jewels then and on and clearly quickest with total three point three two three. It's then ticked up for near three three. The big the British driver will be going through into jewels as well with Sam Burn Jugger T Sales Racing. Bum with the Yama Cars and Sub Van Duran Sam and Taylor Barnard will be passing through then into the jewels then. So good word then. That's the first time that Nimbaka got through to the jewels then for this season. Then even though they did the first race in Tokyo. The five back of the toes, so both drivers will be going through into the jewels. Also going through will be the this out of our world, but we'll he's keeping that to make the only match attempt quickest then. Then Axel Sims will be going through as well from Enja, and then we'll be robbing points as well. And the 12th is Cody, who's actually six quickest then, had the points then, so he'll be going through for well, as well for second point. He's like from a champion for, for, from Portugal. Portugal subscriber will be going through, as yeah, as well as as well as Robin Price and on the door. I mean, the driver, take a look at the that is going to be where the driver will be going from 9th to 20th. There will be Nicky Freeze, the debutizing driver, Dutchman, debutizing with for Maximum Good to Death. Just like a couple P9 in his first race back into Formula E. Then he'll be in P9 for Mass Away, and there will be Luminat, so he'll be, he'll be alongside on road by in P10 for the race next time, like next the next video then, guys. Then in 11th to 20th, then it will be Jake Dance in 11th. Of a Turbo 12 for Neo. Then it will be Lucas Agassi in the Mahindra. I'm afraid he didn't make it, but his teammate Sims got through, but I'm afraid he didn't make it. I'm afraid the position is going to die in P13. Then this Cassidy 40. Warden Motor 15. Then it's Mitch Evans in the Jaguar 16. Then it's Pascal Ballet in the Tacky Porter 17. Then it's the Jits Penske of Fern. Friday 19. And Champions League Associate Cash because of the very back and fifth. So that's a disappointment to side of the team. Championship leader and and driver championship standing leaders though. GS Penske though struggling though in the second race on face on face is leading the both championship the team leaders then GS Penske the team championship leader and driver's championship leaders. What has gone wrong with them for the for the championship lead and team's championship leader down? What happened to them there in the team standings there? They were leading the way. They're currently at the top of the team standings in both standings in championships then. Of boys, it's 40 see the drivers. Fern Campbell start at the very back of the field. Campbell's gonna start last place. The champion of the year is gonna start at the very back of the field. While Fern Colin minus 18. That's not very good at all. So with that, that's good not good enough though. So the driver's going through into the duo. Oh, Dan Tickton, Sam Bird, Tyler Barnard, Ted Barnard, Oliver Welland, Alexander Sims, Robin Fines, Atoy Fisher Costa, and Dob Van Der, as you see on the name on the Screen like that, then guys, you see the list of names that will be going through to the So good work there. But I'm afraid Cameron doesn't make it. I'm afraid he's going to start the very back of the field. The champion leader, the Brazilian, is going to start the very back. Then the way of the Turkey in race one will be starting the very back of the field. That's not good news for him. But Cameron will have to do some good combat charge in the race next time and next video, then guys. But I'm afraid he's out in the second race of the World Books Formula E World Champion here in Bellside. But I'm afraid. Not good lap time there, because he had set the slowest lap time before with a time of 41.261, which isn't good enough to dent to 
to three, two, three hours. Nearly a whole second off from Dan Tickton's tight, quickest time of award that in the club and group draws. So I'm afraid he's out of them, afraid for camera. But with the, eight, the remaining eight, they're advancing through to the jewels. So let's get preparation for that then, as Archie, my friend, joins me then. And we now get ready for the jewels coming up next then, guys. So it's time for the second qualifying jewels of the season then. Here are the list then. We got all the drivers then. So yeah, Dan Tickton will be up against Alex Sims. Sam Bill will be up against Antonio Pista Costa. Ted Ball will be up against Robin Fines, and Overworld in the next will be up against Robin Dorn and Neil McCombs. So, Bob Neil McCombs threw into the jewel for the first time this year, and the first thing to do so, Dan. But we, can we see any more than that? But could they help me get a formal lockout, Dan, in the Grand Prix? Well, only time will tell, Dan. But let's now get ready for the first qualifying jewel, Dan. Now, let's start with the qualifying. We're going to start with qualifying one, Dan. So, I will say that to Archie Dad saying in the first. Qualified jewels in the first qualified jewels, then will be Dan Tickton up against Alexander Sims. Then, so they will be going out, then see who will be going straight through into the first semi finalist in the semi final one. Well, let's find that. That will be the first one to go out first. So, here we go, then the first qualified jewels, then of the second race of the World Books for Me World Champion here in Bear Side. Then, Dan Tickton versus Axel Sims. Then, which one they will be going through? Into the first semi final list as Tickton starts his luck, then. Then it will be followed by Sims, then. So let's see who is going to win now in qualifier one. First, quickest time will be up against the fifth place quickest time, so it will be Tickton versus Sims, then. So that's what Sims going for the first two quarters. He's going a bit slow there. How is Tickton doing, Dan? Doing pretty well there, going that straight away, then. Going past the time out of the face, so we'll be at the on the left hand side then, as Cruz was always, then. Then three into turn nine, then and into turn ten, then. Good sponsor sitting a lot to see them. He's gaining a lot of speed then and picking up the curves then and tracking them. Being going to take that into the fire quarter for what is going to be the laptop for Tickton as he crossed the line there. Not going to be fast enough. 41.4 a Would that stop the but what about Sam? Look like he's going quicker than Tickton. Let's see. Here comes Sam. Could it bring his trouble here to get through into the quarter finals from the semi finals? He can. Sims goes through to the semi final. Good work there. Good job. Axel Sims goes through into the semi final one. Good job. But who will be joining him then? Well, only time will tell. Let's now go straight into the second duel then. Uh, I mean, yeah, the second quarter finalist then. So, yeah. So, that was good work. So, Sims goes through and Tickton is out. Okay, it's now get time to get ready for the second quarter final group. Up next, Sam Bird. Versus Antonio Pierce de Costa, Jago Tizen Racing versus Takia Porsa. Which one of these guys will be going for to face Sims in the semi final one, Dan? Well, they're going to be hanging out right now as Ozzy put them on track right now. Then next, Dan, so which one they will be going to join to face Sims in the, in the semi final one? Well, let's find out, Dan, as they head out on track to do their ones. Sam Bird is often way, Dan. As he's going to be starting to start by now. As off he goes, Dan. Bad in the first race in Tokyo, but he's through into the Jewish in the second race in Bersire. Would hopefully do better to hopefully get himself his first ever pole position. He, uh, even though he hasn't won so far just yet, Dan, but hopefully he wants to give the team something to smile about, Dan, as he wants to hopefully get them to achieve them their first pole position in Formula A. But could they, can they do it, Dan? Could Sam Bird do it, though? Or oh, Toby Hill's. Fist across just hit the barrier there, turn five there. Or oh, Harvey was not fighting his tire or punching his tire there. But because with the double right hander, turn 12 there. Only one more corner to go there. A straight away and then the fire king to the right then. What is going to be his up time there in the second quarter final? This is a 4.49. That's the time for a turn fist across to be. What about to call? It looks like he's not fighting any time there. But would this up would be quicker than Bird? Let's find out. Over the line he comes. Don't think that's going to be approvable. No, it's not. Sam Bird goes through into the semi finals one and he will be facing Sims in the semi finals one. So Sam Bird goes through Dan with a time of four point four nine nine to the cost of four point eight three seven Dan. So good work for that. Four point one nine four for him. Um oh, that's my line there, not yours. Anyway there, good work there. So Bird is 
through into the semi final. We'll be facing Sims in semi final one. So, World and Sam Bird, he's through. Okay, let's get straight into the next qualifier stage then. Qualifier three, there will be against Taylor Barnard for Neil McLaren versus Robin Bynes in the Avalanche Andretti. So, the way each other against the reserve driver McLaren, but which one do will take that? that Spot in the second semi final list, and this is the second group stage. Then, to see which of the two drivers will be going through to the semi final, too. But let's find out that will be the next driver to go out, as I just always said. Don't know though. So, let's run on board them right now. Okay, here comes Ted Barnard. He will be the first driver to start this lap for qualifier three behind Robin Fiennes, then the Avalanche Dreddy, and Ray Champion. Then, the season one for the champion is gone, is beginning his lap now. First time in the duels in Formula E, then. So let's see how well he will do, then. As I said, a bit up for being sorry because I've got to close the pit lane barrier, then. The, the quick rule is, is usable is to, to bring the drivers back into the pits, then. As uh, Barnard sweeping through these tight corners, then. As three goes, then. Obviously, we want to see Barnard win the very first, 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 first race in Tokyo. The season opened up on Friday due to that driver penalty he had that for speed over his on Friday that took it away from him. Let's see want to die again there in this Grand Prix. his best side, he pray. As he said, a 4.687. That's a good laptop. What about what we find? Will this level be faster than Barnard? Let's find out. No, it's not enough. Ted Barnard in his second race in Formula A goes through into the next round. We'll be going through into semi final two. So, Taylor Barnard goes, goes through. Well done to it. I actually will be so excited though. It will be Taylor Barnard. Taylor Barnard goes through with a time of, with a time of 16.687, Dan. Good work, Dan. Good work for him, Dan. So, Taylor Barnard goes through with a time of 40.687, Dan. Well done to him. So, he will be going straight. He will be safely free to semi five two. But who will be joining him in the... In the qualifier four, the last qualifiers of this video, then guys, let's get straight into that right now, then guys. So one more, one more qualifiers to go. Then qualifier four, the five qualifiers of this of this qualifier duel will be against Oliver Warren in the Nissan versus Stuart Van Dorn in the Neil McLaren. Can we see the other Neil McLaren or Stuart Van going for Joey's teammate? Ted Bar or we'll be having a Neil McLaren part of the see which drive will be going through into the final then. Not whether the, the Neil McLaren cannot go through the at the same time, I'm afraid to say though. Only one drive at all. So let's find out as they will be both going straight tight on track. Roland versus Van Dorn. Well, Curlo, we got three British drivers through into the duels there. And now are we gonna hope to see a fourth British driver through into the semi-finals? And hopefully get through there as well. Then could we have seen Five British driving through into the duels there, but we, oh, we have seen three going through to semi five. Could we see a four one for Oliver Welland? Because Barnard, Sims, and Burr are made it through then. So we see three British drivers. That's the moment we have seen so far. Three British drivers then. So amazing for these British drivers so much then. Three are going through, but Welland joins the four. Well, currently he's just fine, Van Dorn, even though it was supposed to be him, him going out first then. But let's see who's going to be going quickest than that. As Phantom comes down the straightaway ground the fire corner and heading towards the line, pushes towards the line and across the line he comes to face off his lap. 4.722. Will that lap will be enough? Will we see four British drivers into the semi final? Let's find out. It will be four British drivers in the, in the semi finals. That's all the world that goes through and beats Van Dorn. World that goes through in the Nissan. Well done to all the world and world that goes through. As I say that to Archie Dan, all the world that goes through. Good work. So four British drivers into the semi-final. Sims, Bird, Barnard and Worland. Woo! Can't believe it. Four British drivers in the semi-final. Wow. This is going to be a scrap it's going to be. I'm afraid the Bird drive by Dorn probably missed out then. So, just put it safe for that then. So, so, it's going through then. So, it will be, it will be Axel Sims. Sam Bird. Taylor Barnard and Oliver Roller, four British drivers through to the to the semi-finals then. So we're gonna get prepared for that. It's gonna start in about five minutes then. So good stop, good work for that. So that's the quad bias done. Let's have a look at the table once again. So look at this then. Four British drivers, all from the from the UK, will be facing off in the semi-finals then. So since it fits up against Tipton, 
Third bit managed to beat the Costa. Ted Bar got fears ahead of Spine, gone quicker than Fines, and other managed to nail Van Dorn. So, for the British Tribe Booth, through into the semi finals then. Sims, Bert, Bernard, and Welland. So, but which of the two will be going through then? It will be, be the treated power between Mahindra Racing, Jagger TCS Racing, Neil McLaren, and Nissan. But which one will win? Let's find out that as we get prepared for the second fire to get underway once or twice for all in a couple of minutes time. Okay, we're back again. It's now time for the semi finals Dan. Let's get ready. Let's get straight into it then. Let's get into this. In semi final one, Dan, it will be between Axel and Sim from Mahindra Racing versus Sam Burt in Jaguar TCS Racing. Which word that will be going through will be the first one through straight into the final. We'll only time it tell us to send them out one now. Let's see how well they do on their lap. So, here we go, Dan. Sim versus Burr. Only one who could make it through to the final. So, we'll be the first finalist, Dan. Since beginning slap, Dan. What about Sam Bird, Dan? Good work for him to get through, Dan. So, he'll be up against Sims, Dan. But which one, Dan, will be the first to go through in the final in for the second round of the Formula World Championship here in Bersayo, Dan? Son, 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 Sims have failed, Dan. Oh, dear grief. But not to worry, though. At least it won't interrupt the session, though. Okay, don't worry about it then. There will be he'll be fixed down, fix someone a spectator or uh, uh, someone in, like a intruder phase and that is failure to track down. Look at that, he's not all the signs down. Can't believe it then. It wasn't you, it was someone else then. Yeah, it's okay for that then. But here comes the Dan to start first across the line. It's a three one point one five so don't be like it's not quick enough then. But Vic Sambo is going faster than Sims then. Would be first finalist for Sambo in the jewels and let's find out. He's quicker. But it's the first drive through to the final. Well done to him. Food is food to the final. Some bird for Jagger Tisa Racing is through to the final. Bird is through into the final. Good work for the Jagger Tisa Racing though. Good work for him. So the first drive going through into the final is some bird for Jagger Tisa Racing. And now let's get ready for the second semi finals then. So let's get prepared for that then. All right, Bird is through to the final, but who will be joining him then? Let's get straight now into the second semi-finalist then. In semi-final two would be Ted Bonner in the Neil McLaren up against Oliver Wilder in the Nissan. So, two Brits then, two car companies, but which one will be joining Sam Bird in the final then? Well, they're hanging out on track right now, so I'll have to put them on second then. Which one will be joining Sam Bird in the final? Let's find out there's a... Get there, so prepare for the lap time. Wait for the ones. Okay, here comes Ted Bar down to the five car and start on his fly lap right now. On down to the start phase where he goes through, and here comes Oliver Way when he comes for Nissan, and off he goes. Then, so two of these other British drivers, Neil McLaren versus Fitz versus Neil McLaren, then versus Nissan. But which one of them will be going? Through? And join Sam Bird in the grand final. Bit of a hope there for Oliver with his cost of time there. But doesn't want to be knocked out again. The lot what happened in Tokyo then. Artist is counting on him to let him get his first point in Formula E. But what about Worland then? He's getting closer to Bernard, but will he be enough to beat Bernard? As Bernard, well, the Allen side is getting a bit closer to the track there. Oh, I don't want to wear flag then, to like the season then. As Bernard said, 40 point five says, what about Worland? Could he go any quicker than Bernard to get through? He does it off. For the semi for the get him to the final, but I'm afraid it's not enough. But it's through to the final. Taylor Barnard will be facing will be up against Sam Bird in the final. Bird versus Bernard. So well done to him. Looks like a bit looks like Archie's gonna be so proud. Then Archie is I mean not Archie. Taylor Barnard is the second driver through into the final. So Barnard is through will be faced against Sam Bird and Jagger Tears is raising. As he beats Oliver Willard with a time of 4.5 there. And he's through into the final. Meaning the final will be Sam Bird versus Taylor Barnard. Good work for that then. Two British teams, two British drivers. But only one would get that proposition. And three championship points add to their tally. Would it be the first for McLaren? Or would it be the day for Jaguar to get the increasing championship boost then? To get some big points then? Well, only time to tell. We'll get the final underway in the coming minutes time then, guys. But let's look at the table once again one more time before the final. So, Sam Bird defeated Sims and Ted Bonner defeated Oliver Wern. That means Oliver Wern, second place in the Challenge, could have a chance to take the lead of the championship then. If he can hopefully get into the space in the top 10 to get to the lead of the overall drivers' championship then. He's clearly winning second place in the championship then. 
But could he help me go for the Wednesday and get onto the podium? It's like a second career podium so far in two ways in this second season from the Ada. Well, only time will tell that. We'll come we'll hope we look straight forward to that in the race next time I next video then, guys. But anyway, then it's this it's time for this. This is it then guys. So here we go. This is it. The final. Between Sam Bird for Dragon TC Racing versus Ted Barnard in the Neil McLaren. One lap, once one cover dual match, and one will get pole position. But who will get it? Let's find out that Z2 will be battling in the final then of this second race of the World Books for Me World Championship here in Bellasada. Who will take pole for the Bellasada pre then guy and get and earn them to three championship points to cheat to add to their points tally then? Well, let's find out then. Tubbers on, uh, I think he's on, he's on, um, I think four points. Well, Bono has got nothing. Will, will anything turn about in this final duel then of this crop fine duet? Well, let's find out. Let's, let's get the fire. Preparations on the way for the final. Let's get ready to go. It's time for the final of the duels. So a lot of speed, a lot of concentration, and a lot of speed and contention, and a lot of switches to make up there. As here we go, it's time for the final down. Bono versus Sam Bird. Which one will win? As Bar begins his lap down. As oh dear, I think there's a bit of a lagging down. Oh dear grief, fixed because of Archie down. Um. We take it then, it looks like Archie's got a bit of an incident with his bug, and yeah, it's, yeah, broken, crapped it. Let's retake it again. Okay, we're back again. That's sorry for all the commiseration and the buggy, like, technically we're having the situation, we're having something, we've got one there, guy. But we've got, sorry, that's for turn number two, we take two. At uh, this time, does some bug gets on the way for the fire, then, so let's see. Who will get purpose in there? Here we go! Here we go! Here goes Ted Bonner. He really was on purpose after this disappointing driver pair that cost him the win in Tokyo. He wants to be back on purpose. Will we do it then? Sam Bird. Let's want to buy him. Doing pretty well then. Through the past time. He's a good technique there. If we go. Look how speedy he is then. And look how fast he goes. The Dragon Tears racing goes then. This lad needs to be a good approval there. How's Ted Bonner doing then? Doing pretty well on the front. Through Three corners there for the middle part of the section of the track then. And Sam Burr, let's see what the time is going to be for the for the CS race driver. It's a 4.452. Could Burr hope he that lap time? Let's see. That is where he comes, Dan. Let's find out. Will it be Burr Pearl or will it be Barnard's time? Oh, dear, this will be a time, but it's not going to be enough. Sam Burr takes purposes on. <laughs> and he's done it. Good work for the multiple race champion. And it's Sam Bird. Bird takes pose. And Bard just barely missed out there. I'm on 4.1.7. I think he's lost a title. But it's Sam Bird. For Jacob T.C. Razor. Will be starting the best I pray on Po. Here's your Po position, guys. Sam Bird. It's Po position. One point for Taylor. No, you don't get any points. Take a place down. Three points then. Bird, three points. <laughs> Taylor, no points. Yeah, no points per second. Force one on a stop. No points. No. Turn no points for one on a stop, Archie, okay? You don't get points for second place, then. But anyway, Dan, it's the pole position for Sam Bird, Dan. Jaguar T's a race, have beaten the Imacover pole. Congratulations, Dan. Well done to him. And here's your pole. And here's will be starting the best I pray on pole in the next video, then, guys. So that, here's your purposes for the Grand Prix of the Bird's Eye Prix. It is Sam Bird. Congratulations to him. He will I mean, so three championship points. Good work for Jacob Tears Racing. We'll be sending them there, increasing third play in the team championship over the championship. I think they're going to be a little bit ahead of this Sam for second place then. Good work for them. But I'll play so club for him, but he'll be starting a couple foot well. He'll be starting the race in P2. Did better like he did in Tokyo in the first race then, but he's going to start on the front well alongside Sam Bird. But very missed out then. Archie was really hoping to see him get published in, but it won't be. It wasn't him. It would be him. This guy, Sam Bird. For Jacob and T-Sales Racing, would be starting on pole position Sunday. Congratulations to them. As let's now look at the final result of the qualifying duels. So, after the crap but dramatic final duel we have seen there in the Bears I pre, here's the final results of the Corbin Jules then for the this will be the lineup there for the top eight then it will be Sam Bird will be starting on purposes and then for Jacob Tears Great work for him so much for him. he'll be 
but he's signed the best line to put on Proverbs and Crush for his win. He gets three charging points and three for the Dragon Racing Team. Mindy, Team Jaguar will be uh, moved ahead this time for second play in the Team Championship standing turn. Mindy, they're on 19 and they're on 18. So, well, he's crossed to Jaguar with Jesus Racing for the team, Principal James Barkley. Their team are on purpose this turn. And Jaguar moved ahead of this up for second play, like they did in real life then. In third. In second, it would be Taylor Bard, just by a minute, that was up to him, to some bird. I'm afraid he will be starting the race in P2 for tomorrow's Grand Prix for them. So, but good effort for him then in the second Grand Prix race, to be tied again for Jake Hughes. Then. Hope he will get his first point, and hope he will not get penalised by the stewards again then, after he's disappointed in Tokyo after he got the same a drive through penalty. He was on the front well. In third place, it was Oliver Warner, who was quicker than Sims then, in, uh, after semi final calculations. A lot of checked out then, so it was Warren, who was quicker than Axel Sims then, so he'll be starting third and it will be Sims fourth. And the quad finalist, the full drive will be knocked out, it will be over the door, will be fifth, then it will be starting the race, then it will be two physical in the target portion, the Portuguese trouble will be starting P6, then it will be one we find in the advanced race, the main champion will be starting P7 for tomorrow's Grand Prix. And next and last place, the next for the next video in for the best I play. So in eighth place, it will be Dan Tickett in the near 3v3, who is the last driver. Then he's going to start the fave. He's going to start P8 then for tomorrow. Then and that's your top eight then result then for the order for the top eight to start. We're going to start for the start of the best I play coming up in the next in the next video next time out then guys. So. Congratulations to Sam Bird and for Jacob Tiso Racing. They're on pole for the best I play that will be coming up very, very soon, Dan. By the way, can I help return this pole into a win? Next time out in the next video, then, guys, for the best IP race? Well, we'll find out ne next time out, then, guys. Well, a huge massive thanks for everyone who's tuning in all the support of this qualifying setup for the best I play. It's Sam Bird on pole, but it's a huge day for him. Ted Bonner could do anything to stop him though, but he could do anything with slow up top of 41.790. But Frey, that's a good up, so a good up for him. But he's good, but goodness for him, he's gonna start the front wheel along with Sam Bird. But I think he's gonna log into the league going down to the first Sakane at turn one, two. There's a right and left Sakane coming at the start of the where they go down to the first corner for the start of the E pre then. So there will be very far race laps to come in this second race coming up with the best pre coming up then next time and then guys. But anyway guys, if you like this video, do consider a big thumbs up, so leave a comment down below and subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell if you haven't not just yet then guys. And also if you haven't been the first you've seen by the main do consider a big thumbs up, do say and join the James Gate channel for more exclusive content game that you will see much more of this coming in the future then. Yep, thank you so much then. But apart from that then guys, thanks for all for tuning in and all support. Then thanks for watching for for qualifying for the Bells I play and we'll be seeing you then for the race for round two of the World Box Formula E World Championship here in Biosire. We'll hope to see you there. But anyway, that's all we got time for for today in this video. And we'll see you guys for the Bells I pre race coming up soon. Maybe on Thursday or Friday then. We'll see you there. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Bye bye.